Hi, this is Jyoti from BIMES. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can create custom curtain wall panel. So now I am going to use a roof and shell tool to create a new custom curtain wall panel. So let me show the panels which I have now. So here you can see I have created three different types of curtain wall panel. This is I created using the rectangular roof and this one is polygonal roof and I just mirrored it and gave the different color and this I created using the shell tool. So now I am going to use these three things and create a new custom curtain wall panel. So I hope that everyone knows how you can create the roof. In order to create the curtain wall we have just select the panel which we want to create so that the pattern which we want to be created using the roof tool now I'm just going to file libraries and object and then save custom component here we have to choose custom curtain wall panel and then we can give the panel name and just save this one so I have saved this and now I'm going to save this one as I told you that this I just created a triangular roof and I mirrored it by changing and then change the color so now I'm going to save this as another panel and this I'm going to give as triangular Then, and this is shell as you know in, in one of my tutorial I explained you how you can create a hole in the shell or how you can redefine the shell contour if you see this first I created a dome shell and then I just draw a rectangle and then change its contour to the rectangular profile and now I am selecting this now I am going to save as another curtain wall panel so now I am going to give this as shell yes now I have created three different types of curtain wall panel so here I am going to show you with an example so for this example I just took one of uh, this is a Dubai metro station so I have taken this skin to show you how you can have a different pattern on the screen so these are some of the images and this is in front of Burj Khalifa and this one is in front of Mall of the Emirates so now let us see how we can create this curtain wall so first I am going to use the curtain wall and I am going to create the radius and axis method so this is my center and this is my axis now I'm just creating a curtain wall and we can take the 3d view as you can see that this is simple curtain wall a simple panel and now I'm going to change its shape so that it will look like the shape which I have shown you so for this I have created the ellipse over here and now I am going to use the shell tool and then extrude method now I want to give the height as 4000 height and I am going to use the magic wand and this height I want a 6000 and then ok Okay, that's done. Now let's check these two things in 3D view. Yes. So here we have the curtain wall. <coughs> Let me 
change its height a little bit. So I just want to extend it more. So maybe a thousand, so seven thousand. Right. So first, now I'm going to do the operation, which is trim to shell. For this, one thing you should do when you create a shell in the settings, you should define editable or else you can't do the trim operation which I am going to do right so now I am selecting the curtain ball and then connect then trim elements to roof so this is the shell which I want to use and then I want to keep this portion so now you can see sorry I made the wrong operation now I just undo this once so, okay now connect from elements to roof first I have to choose the roof it's a bit slow now I want to keep the inner portion so now you can see the operation is done and now I don't want the shell anymore so I'm going to hide this layer right so here I have a shape similar to the image which I have shown you so this is the actual you can say the pattern in the metro station so let us see that how we can give some alternatives for this so here I'm going to change the panel as you can see scheme I have only one panel now which is main panel so now I'm changing the main to custom curtain wall panel and here all the Uh, cu custom panels which I have saved you can see the list over here so let us try the rectangular one which is simple so here you can see the nice pattern maybe if you zoom in you can see since I have given different colors on this edges and this is really nice so let us see other pattern so other one which I have saved is the triangular 2 since the profile the grid pattern is very small so it's taking a longer time as you can see this is also really nice one a unique pattern and then let's change to the last one shell and see how this looks so with this new shell tool and the roof tool you can create any custom panel for doors or or the curtain walls This is also nice. So now let's see how we can manipulate this pattern. So here I'm going to the scheme. So instead of one scheme, I'm just going to add one more. And here also one more. So I have 
multiple patterns and now I want to have this as a distinct panel so I can give another panel over so I choose distinct and in the distinct I want to use the triangular and let's see how this looks As you can see this is not looking good because there is an option where you have to set the panel settings. So now I will show you how we can change these things. Now you can see the main panel thickness is 80 and the distinct panel thickness is 400. That's why it's going away. So let's change this to 80. And now it will align with the existing panel. Yes, now it is done. You can see nice pattern. So now you can create any curtain wall and you can apply different types of pattern using the custom curtain wall panel. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thank you.